Hello everybody, welcome back to my Fallout in Vegas. Let's play, we're here on episode 13. And hopefully, problems are solved, hopefully. Last episode, my commentary was a little lackluster, I apologize. But I got a nice full cup of ice cold water. I got a full cup of fresh brewed coffee. Good stuff. And let's go into the uh, headquarters. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to get my headset before on. I throw up just from looking at you. You're not a ghoul. I think he has a few screw looses. I'd reverse that, apologize. A few screws loose. Where's Jason? The great one can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. He should feel lucky to be granted some of his you time. Oh, Chris. Where is the X button to press so I can Jason properly? This is a uh, this is a weird looking thing. Alright, I can't really loot anything. Because apparently it would be bad karma. Got some nice uh, supercomputers. Nice little uh, generator. Got a cool setup going on here. I think that's where I came in? I have no idea. Ooh. What is this? You want know something that's funny? Actually, I actually have like a desk fan that's like that. That's like from like the forties. Is it the forties? I think so. Let's get a free rest. Hallelujah. Now let's find Jason. He's on the second floor. Okay. Jason, where you at? It's Jason. Hello. Return to me, Wanderer. We need your help. A thousand weird voices. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? What is wrong with your voice? What is the deal with the human? You're... We had the same discussions when he first appeared and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. What is the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete. When the demons appeared. Demonic apparitions. Tell me more about these. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Well met, traveler. I've returned. I apologize. Hopefully, I remember to edit that out. Otherwise, I'd be pretty visible. Where one pretty of boring. Stands, the most one sees the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died. 
all went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. All right, let's go. I was thinking about stealing that stuff, but yes. I don't want to lose karma over some rad X. And I don't want all these guys to attack me either. Through sixteenoscope through the door. I set it down to the basement. These guys may or not have respawned. Ooh. I wasn't expecting them to jump on this. Anything over here? I don't think so, don't die. Let's head down to the basement. Good stuff. All right. Open door. Can I sleep on the bedrolls? Enemies are nearby. Of course. Let's sit by this fire. Reminisce. About the good old days. In Donkey Kong. All right, now how do we get out of here? Back. Oh, that's backwards. There we go. Alright, I'm looking out for the demons. Get a really nice souped up rebar club. Uh, somebody just hurt themselves. I really like this club. I'm really liking it. Right, any more uh, nightkins with invisibility cloaks? Probably. There's another one right there. I'll kill you. Blip. Die, fool. This guy gave me 23. 
Get two sarsaparillas going. Trying for the jump scares. I, see, I know. I know your plan, game. Oh, is that a? Uh... Let's get this upgraded, shall we? Hundred percent. I'll deal with that door later. Star bottle cap. One out of a hundred. Don't want any of this answered, no. Let's go kill this last guy that's walking around. Actually, can I go back and heal? Can I be a scum and, uh... I could try to be a scum. I go heal in one of the makeshift beddings. Antler says, you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says, you must die. I see you. I know you can come and talk to that guy. I don't remember how. But there is a dialogue tree with him. Human. Alright, human. Human powers activate. Get out of here, Davison. Bumper sword. 2331. My rebar club is 39, 35, 39, 2331. Hmm. Antler. Speak to me. Okay. Hopefully they don't get any uh, surprised by anybody else. this down into the uh, basement. Scrap metal? Hmm. I think I'm going back. Be in here later. I need to return to the cult of. I forgot his name. Jason. Cult of Jason. And tell him I succeeded in exercising the demons. Enemies are nearby still, what? Where are you enemies? It is time to put on a uh, some Simpax. Let's 
Let's go, Jailer. That was a quest. That was part of my quest. Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Speak with Jason Bright. Oh yeah, I guess that was the last nightkin. What is in these jail cells? What were you protecting, jailer? Or like a brighter light? There's nothing in here. What's behind door number two? What is behind door number two? What is this? I have a feeling I'm gonna get attacked by something. Bunch of scrap metal. Well, this is unlocked anyway, at least. I have a bad feeling. Anything over here? Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Can I get out of here, please? I don't know about you guys, but I am getting a little lightheaded in this area. I think I might be down here for the rest of the episode. Alright, let's see. We're here. No. We're here. No. How about over here? No. How about this? Free! I am free. Alright, I apologize, I didn't take a little break. I don't know what triggers it, but every once in a while... I get like, uh, I guess motion sickness or whatever from playing games. I get dizzy, get headaches. Okay, let's let's continue. Where's my weight at? My weight is in one seventy four. I'll take the battery. Oh, there's a jail key right there, and a paint gun. Can I please get out of this area?
All right, let's go to. The locked door. You go to the locked door by where Davison was. And have to deal with the. Uh, I don't know, somebody somewhere, I forget. Alright, let's go to the door, please. Please save me from this nightmare. Kinda don't want to play this anymore, but I need to finish this area. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? I'm exploring, Harland. Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. I killed them all. I killed them on sight, so we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see, obviously, but they are too smart when it comes to tactics. We're not stepping in traps. How did you end up trapped? down here, Harlan. I would like to know that. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. You do not look like the other ghouls. Jason's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking ghoulettes in it. Huh? Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Why do I have to kill you? How can I help you get out of this room, Hartland? How can I help? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. God damn it, Harland! Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Back into this terrible place that is the jail. Is it, on the, is it by any chance? Well, at least it's marked on my map. Alright, so let's get back to the jail and find this friend. Do some other crap. 
and loot that area. Cause I'm pretty sure there's some good loot in there. Empty whiskey bottle. Feels like I emptied a whiskey bottle. Okay, let's um, go down this way. And then down here. And then over here. And here's a jailer. Okay. Is there door number th three? Is this a wrench? Is that door? Is that door? And there's this door. You can just spawn in there. That'd have been nice. Alright, so where were you at? Not down here. That is unfortunate for you. But very fortunate for me. So I can get the hell out of here. get back to Harland. I don't I don't remember. I'm just going to wander around until I stumble upon Harland's area. Hurts every time I have to turn around. Harland, are you over here? I don't think so. Uh, sleep. Whew. Unless I can do that. There's food. I just went in a circle. God damn it. I should be looking at my quest markers. So this quest marker is to get out of here, right? Okay. So I need to follow this one to get back to Harland. That was easy enough. Did you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. All right, now please. Be no surprise deaths in this area. That was a well hidden jet. Take all this free. Well, I don't really use 12 gauge. Eh, free ammo is free ammo.
Alright, so I pretty much had enough of this area. I have no idea what traps I'm triggering. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna save. It'll take like an aspirin or something. But this is gonna be it for episode 13. I apologize if I messed up on the editing. Also apologize for my lack of attentiveness. But I don't know, man. Is that a motion sickness or whatever the hell is going on? This just kills me. Anyway, be back tomorrow. More Fallout. More 17 days of gaming past. And, well, I was going to plan on recording a new, uh, start up a new thing, but the way I'm feeling right now, maybe not.